Hey guys, just getting ready to go metal detecting with Stan and I loaded up the truck, I go to jump in and here's another incident of something really strange happening. This has never happened before in this vehicle or any other. So I'll flip you around and show you. Look at my seat. Look at the driver's seat. I go to get in and I'm like, what the heck? My seat is all the way back. And I mean, there is nothing that has ever accidentally hit that before. It is freaking strange. I did park the truck outside of the garage last night and I thought, oh, maybe some kids broke into my truck and they were rooting around looking for change or something. But no, the truck was locked. So, I mean, it is right flat. Like, I can't explain this, guys. This is just another one of these incidents of weird things going on at the Reed household right now. And I don't know why. Strange. Can't explain it. Good morning, guys. Just sitting here waiting for the day to warm up so Stan and I can go do some metal detecting. And I shot a video yesterday, uh, which was Gary received gift because I got a strange message from the spirits first thing in the morning. And um, we followed up with a few questions. I changed course. That wasn't the video we were going to make, but that's what we ended up doing. And I don't feel I asked specific enough questions. Um, and following up, I'll I'll show you again what they were saying. And I, I really should have asked some more in-depth questions, like they said that I'm supposed to release. Release what? <laughs> and then I'm supposed to receive. Receive what? <laughs> and then it says a gift multiple times in the video. It says a gift. Um, so I have questions on that line of, you know, just... Gary waking up because this is the message they keep giving me and I'm really super interested and intrigued on that So I've got an hour and I thought let's just do another quick session on it and uh, See what the spirits say before I do that I'm not gonna film it But I'm gonna have a little 10 minute meditation session here where I'm gonna try to connect and send light and receive light with my Protective circle family members whoever it is that I'm speaking with my spirit guides Jim I don't know and let's just, oh, shiver down the back of my neck as soon as I said Jim's name. Let's do this. Just want to try something crazy and start with the hack shack. And I'm trying to contact my main spirit guide, whose name I just said earlier who I said I get a shiver down the back of my neck, who told us in a previous video that he touches my neck and that he's here standing beside me. Full body shivers, full body shivers. Do you guys remember that? You guys remember that? You guys remember that? You guys remember that? I don't know what that said, but it really was only running for 15 seconds. And now I have, yeah, you guessed it, full body shivers. I'm sending light to that person. I already did a little meditative session there, guys. Spoke with my spirit team and guides. All right. Um, I'm going to actually grab a tripod because my arm is tired already. And uh, then we're going to switch to necrophonic. Just feel super connected the last couple of days, and that's why I want to do these sessions now while I'm feeling that connection. I used to worry about looking crazy and feeling crazy. Because it was all so new and I didn't understand it. But now I don't give a damn. I just want to understand what's going on and get definitive proof. So, 
Yesterday, you guys told me that I need to release. What am I supposed to release? So I'm just gonna ask the spirits, make sure you guys talk very clearly, slowly, and one at a time. After I release, I'm supposed to receive. What am I going to receive? That last part to me sounded backwards. Let's reverse it. Maybe there will be a message that I'll understand and when I put it on the computer, I'll play it forward again and then we'll play it in reverse. See what we get. What is the gift? Sacred. How many times have I visited Earth? Oh, you guys can talk, please, please do. Am I what people here on Earth refer to as a light worker? I heard energy, I heard healer. Guys, I have questions here asking about that because I believe I've mentioned it in previous videos, but ever since I was a little kid, I have used the light to send out good healing vibes, energy, specifically driven to heal people. Since I was a little kid, five, six years old, I, nobody ever taught me to do that, I always just did it. So I feel, eh, full shiver, I feel that that is part of something that I inherently know and there's, I can't explain it. <laughs> and I've never talked about it with people because it's not something that you can, I don't know anybody around me that has that spirituality or that energy connection that could explain it or teach me or, you know, I just haven't had that person in my life and so it was always considered, oh, that's craziness. You wouldn't want to talk about something like that, but I've always done it ever since I was a little kid. I'm going to take a moment and send light out to my team right now. And I want them to acknowledge it in a message on here. Take the light, use it for good. Now I'm going to take a moment and I'm going to allow myself 
to receive light, which I never do. I, I always think of it in reverse, but I guess I could use help and receive light and guidance too. So I'm gonna open myself up to that and receive right now. I heard Art, I heard Jim. Art was my great uncle. Jim was my best friend, both have passed on. Can my light physically heal people here on Earth? You've told me a few times that I have a mission. I'm here on a mission. What is my mission? He is good. I heard that in the last video. He is good. Who? Me? Am I good? Admit it. That's what it said in the last video. I'm going to admit it. I am good. Divine. In the last video you told me to study. What am I supposed to study? I think it said you know already, and I was thinking in my head, I already know what to study, and that's the psychology and spirituality mesh that I, you know, have previous books that we've read uh, on the channel that we've talked about. The Road Less Traveled series by Scott Peck, that really started my, uh, my journey into psychology and spirituality meshed together, and there's a three book series there, we've covered it on the channel, I'm reading... Uh, the Seven Habits of Highly Effective People right now. Again, there's a mix of spirituality stuff in there, a lot of meditation and envisioning stuff. Um, this isn't anything new. And when it said, you know, you already know, yeah, I kind of get it. But I'm also interested in like, you know, the healing aspect of light and what is the light and is it just love? I'm pretty sure that it is, but why are we so disconnected from it here? Why would I choose to come here and feel like we do as humans 90% of the time? Is it that when we return home, it's going to be that much better? That the feeling being encompassed and surrounded and filled with light and love is going to be so much better because now we've gone through this and we understand the absence of light and love? And my last question for today, how do I enhance my connection to my spirit team? Alright guys, on that confusing note, I didn't understand dang word they just said. I'll have to analyze it on the computer. Thanks for joining me. Catch you guys in the next adventure.